Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to see you guys again. Uh, today is Sunday, and I just got off playing my first gig uh, since June yesterday, so if my voice is a little bit uh, raspy, I haven't sang that much in quite some time, but it feels damn good to do it. Today, guys, we are going to talk about Universal Audio Aux. I borrowed this from a friend. Um, I'm very interested in possibly purchasing this, mostly for the channel and, and my uses in terms of doing studio sessions, music for film and TV, all that jazz. And um, yeah, let's just kind of, we're going to go through it. I'm not going to do Pete Thorne and plenty of other people have done amazing reviews of this. I want to do it as a dude who knows nothing about, um, you know, IRs and, and uh, cab sims and stuff like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. That's probably not even the right terminology. But regardless, this thing's pretty dope. Uh, on well, my last record, when I tracked guitars, scratch tracks for guitars, like playing live in the room with the band, I used this. And in fact, this is the same one I used because I borrowed it from my producer, uh, Drew Masaryk, who's amazing. If you don't know who that guy is, he's amazing. Um, but so I'm going to just kind of go through some of the cabs. I'm playing through the two rocks. So this is the amp. Um, that's the amp we're going to be using. So that's the tone of the amp is, that's what you're hearing is the two rock studio signature playing with the sir. And we're in standard tuning today, just standard tuning. So, um, I'm also going to put on some pedals. When I did the Iridium, I, uh, didn't really love the way that the broadcast sounded through it in post. When I listened to it, it didn't bother me as much, but I still didn't love it. So we're going to see how my pedal board works out. We got the, uh, AP broadcast is on there. I got a new wah pedal from exotic that's on there. The Cornerstone Gladio, oh, still my heart. Um, the Strymon Lex, and the Strymon Flint. So we're just going to go through all that stuff, and let's just check it out. Um, we got the app up one of these corners. I don't know where I'm going to put it, <laughs> but you're going to look at the app too. So we'll just go through the cabs and stuff. All right, so let's do this. Here's the um, straight out of the, out of the box. <laughs> We're in a 110 cab right now, which is pretty interesting. It feels great right off the bat. It feels awesome. Not loving the 10, but let's let's change that. Um. Let's just go down the list. So here's a 112. Sounds like this is a 112 greenback. Okay. 112. Woo! It's got some more body to it, right? I like that. Audio beasts. All right. I like the fatness of that. I hate headphones. Yeah. I really like there's a, a richness to the speaker. 
And what's cool is you can make it sound like an, a newer speaker. Like this is more newer. This is a newer speaker. sound older if I do this see how it's more broken in Let's put it right in the middle kind of thing or eh, maybe lean more towards broken in I mean, what's not to like about that sound? All right, let's go. I'm gonna go to a 212. I'm gonna spend the whole time on these 112s. All right, let's see how this one. Goes. Maybe like a vibra verb. Right off the bat, this has like a more of a presence to me that I dig. And then what we can do is, so that's, this is the 50 watt version, so let's go to the 100 watt. So you can tell there's like, there's like more headroom. I've been on the uh, the neck pickup that whole time, so now I'm on the bridge. Oh man, I like it. Let's bring up the room mics to see what this sounds like. Back on the uh, neck pickup. Let's do this. I'm going to solo the room mic. Let me bring in... I got a ribbon mic on there. I'm going to bring that in. It's, it's so cool. I mean, it feels like my two rock. It just feels like different flavors with these speakers. I found I've messed with this a little bit and enough to be dangerous to know quasi what I'm doing. Although you guys know me, not enough probably. Um, 
But I'm going to go to, where is that? 112. I think this might be it. This is kind of like, I think this is supposed to be like a two rock 212. And I'm going to turn this compression off. So on the side here, come on guys. On the side here, you got some um, awesome, um, you know, effects like EQ, compression, delay, and reverb. The plate reverb, by the way, sounds amazing. Um, and you can see here, so like right now we've got the 212 cab, we're mic'd up, we see our two mics there. Um, we got a condenser and a ribbon mic. And where is the, and you can change it. So, you know, whichever one you want to be off access or whatever, you can do it through there. Uh, where is the, you can put a rug in. Universal Audio is so cool. I mean, like everything that they do, like as far as like, I really want to try out Luna. I've been a Pro Tools user for quite some time, but I really want to try Luna out. I might, might leave Pro Tools land. Excuse me, if I go off on a tangent for a couple minutes. Good guys. Take that rug back out, see how different it is. great it really does all right let me go i'm gonna find another cabinet here let's see if we can pull up like a 412 um uh, let's get this punchy 412 with greenbacks Woo! it's bright i'll be really interested to see how this translates in the audio in the Pro Tool session. Cause it feels good, but like this one was definitely like, immediately it was bright. I like it. I've never really, I've never owned a 412 cab. I played through on one time in a guitar shop when I was like picking up a guitar that had been worked on. And it was so fun. But, you know, it's all about being in the room with it. All right, let me see real quick. Uh, let's put some. Let's put a rug in there. I love putting a rug down. Ah, takes a little bit of that, a little bit of the bite out. Not a lot.
It's cool. Sounds great. Uh, let me show you guys really quick what's going on with this delay. Because the delay on this is pretty neat. You can see all the parameters here that you can mess with. Sounds great. I, you know, <laughs> I've talked about this a million times, but I don't understand delay and I don't mess with it that much, but this sounds fantastic. All right, um, turn that off. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go back to, cause I'm running out of time here. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff. I just want to kind of give you guys my, my first impression. Let me go back to the 212, this guy, cool. Um, all right. Cool. I'm going to start putting some uh, effects in. So let's see how the wall sounds. Okay, cool. Uh, let's let's put the Leslie on. broadcast. something really quick here and you know I don't I don't like to edit so I'm not gonna edit this video because that's dumb <laughs> Already, I kind of like the sound of this more than I did the Iridium. I'm gonna turn up the fuzz or the drive a little bit here back down <laughs> I 
like this because I like the fact that I can do this at zero volume for my family upstairs, which is great. All right, here's the Gladio. That's the left channel, here's the right channel. sloppy playing for you but you get the point <laughs> so i i'm pretty impressed with with the ox i mean as far as i don't know um as a tool for me in the studio as a tool for me for you guys to use to demo stuff i'm really going to be interested to go back and listen to the the audio um so i can see how it's capturing this sound or these sounds but Ultimately, it's it's pretty dope, and let me do something really quick because I'm running out of time here. Uh, there is a rig switch, and the the pre kind of loaded sounds in this thing are pretty pretty intense. So this is a four twelve. <laughs> You know, let's, not, let's not do that because I gotta change some some stuff. Regardless, the rig button or knob on this unit has like preloaded awesome stuff. There's about what is it six rigs in there, so you can kind of dial up prefab stuff and it's still gonna sound killer. But as you switch through them, it's funny because when you when you set up the Wi-Fi for this, as you switch the rig button, you'll see it change. So watch watch this monitor. So, <laughs> technology's cool, guys. Uh, I would definitely check out the Ox. Obviously, um, barrier to entry is the price for a lot of people. And it will be for me, too. I'm not made of money. Um, but, you know, I'm about to unload some stuff. And I might check this out. I might buy it. I don't know yet. Um, I have to kind of give it a, a you know good test run for the next couple of days before I have to give this back to Drew. And then we'll see. But otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed. It's cool. It's really cool. So... Good on you, uh, Universal Audio. Uh, I'm I'm a couple years late <laughs> to this, but man, it's a beautiful piece of uh, piece of gear, and it looks cool too, right? All right, guys. So take it easy. Um, thank you again for subscribing. Tell your friends. Click that bell. Make sure you know when I have new episodes of At Home with Mark popping. I've got some great guests lined up in the next month or two, so stop by and say hi. But yeah, continue to uh, support this channel. It really means a lot to me. I'm thinking about doing a live stream soon, playing my music and stuff and playing some covers for y'all. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Maybe I can use the Ox this week and we can do that. But regardless, you guys know I really appreciate you. Take care of each other and I'll see you soon.